Hello, here's a fun little uh, UFO case. This one here, Tic Tac UFO, filmed from a plane over Lake Michigan, October 2021. Uh, it's interesting because it looks like a Tic Tac shape, kind of an oval shape. And I thought at first that it was a fake because it kind of looks like uh, the classic UFO that they have in this uh, UFO app on the iPhone where you can add in a fake UFO to videos um, But you can kind of see if you keep watching it it uh, actually changed shape and you can see it's kind of flying away From the plane off into the distance and now the good thing about this video And this is a little bit unusual actually is that we actually have uh, some good information about when it was taken and uh, what, what plane it was. And uh, and this description here on, let's see, latest UFO sighting, is that what it's called? I guess so. Then uh, we have this description here. Tic Tac UFO seen from airplane while flying over Lake Michigan, over Grand Rapids area, was on flight United Airlines 267 from Boston to Denver on October the 17th, 2021. Seated in a window seat, looking north as we flew over Lake Michigan at 8.50 local time. Spotted below the plane and several miles away, a Tic Tac UFO. The object was flying east, which is in the opposite direction. because They're flying uh, towards the west, towards Denver. Flying east and had no features. No wings, no windows, no tail, no exhaust, no flight services, etc., etc. White and cylindrical. Recorded it for a minute, disappeared to the east because it was going behind them, obviously. It would just disappear. It doesn't mean it disappeared. It just means it going in the opposite direction. It did seem to change elevation or speed. I think that means did not because they put or speed. All right, so uh, what is this? This um, this took me 15 minutes or so to track down and it's it's a plane, which is kind of surprising because you, know, you look at this, it doesn't look like a plane. It looks like some kind of weird um, egg-shaped, tic-tac-shaped tic thing, isn't it? It's, uh, but it is in fact, just a plane. Now the reason it looks like this is that it's a very low resolution video and it's digital zoom and we have a bright object lit by the sun and experience has shown that when you have a cell phone uh, zoomed in as far as you can with digital zoom on a white bright white plane it just shows up as a kind of cigar shaped or tic tac shaped object and there's lots of examples uh, of this. Uh, but uh, which plane is it? Now, we can actually figure that out, and the way I did it was, the most useful information was the fact that we know what what plane uh, the camera guy is on. He's on United Airlines 267. So, what I did was I went into this site, flightaware.com, and went to uh, United 267, and it's going to show me that flight. Now, this is just showing me the flight from today. And we want the flight from, uh, was it October the 17th? And so let's go down, scroll down, find that one, keep going down. Oh, stops October 21st, but we can click here, view more flight history. October the 17th, right here, you can see I've already clicked on it. Click October the 17th, it will give you that particular flight. So here it is from Boston to Denver, and this is the region we're looking at here, Grand Rapids. Uh, we want that. So what I like to do is grab this into a format I can view in Google Earth. Now to do that, it's a little fiddly on here, but you go to view track log, and this shows you the track log position, you know, all the coordinates and the altitude and everything. Uh, but then you can click on this little Google Earth uh, link here and it will download the actual flight track in Google Earth, which is very handy. So I took that and stuck it into Google Earth and here it is, United 267 from Boston to Denver. And what we want is when they're going over the Grand Rapids area here, just about to go over that. And they said the time was um, 8.50. Now they didn't specify, uh, they said local time, but they didn't say which time zone that was, but you can figure it out, just moved it to, to here. It shows up 8.50. It's actually Pacific time for some reason. I'm not sure exactly why they consider that to be a local time. Perhaps they were going uh, to California, but uh, it uh, was at 8.50 local time. They were in this location. So what we want to do is find out what other planes were in this location and specifically planes that are at a, a lower altitude 
than this one. And to do that, I use Flight Radar 24, and we can replay. Now, I've got a uh, business account, which I get for free just for running a um, ADSB listening station on an old Raspberry Pi computer, but you can uh, sign up for a free trial if you want to uh, give this a go yourself. And I think the uh, the standard playback is it's not too expensive. Or get yourself a Raspberry Pi. Anyway, so you go to playback. I'm going to go to October the 17th. And we need to convert that time into UTC because this uses UTC and it's actually uh, 1550 in UTC. So it's a little fiddly and you've got to double check you got the right time. But in this case, this is the correct time. So let's just pause it there and let's find our plane. There it is right there, United Airlines 267. So just backing up a little bit here. This is it flying over, just starting to fly over the lake and we see another plane right here. So let's just pause right here. Now, this plane here is Delta Airlines 2474. This is our plane with a camera, United 267. 267 is at, what is it, it's at uh, 35,000 feet. And this plane is at 23,000 feet. So they're actually looking down on this plane, which makes it a very good candidate. Also look at the plane itself, it's bright white, it's got a long fuselage and it has these fairly essentially short, smaller wings. It's a small plane, it's a Boeing 717-200. Uh, so this is an ideal candidate. This is an ideal candidate for uh, the, the what we might be looking at. And if we continue to play, this is the guy looking out of the window, he's looking down at this plane, and he's looking back, and he'll be seeing these fields and things over here, and then he'll eventually lose sight of it as it just gets too far behind him. So now we can go back to uh, uh, flightaware.com, and we can do the same thing, and we can get the, the, fl the track log for that flight. So let's bring that up and we see them cross over there and we can move back the time so that they're like this and we can see there we have both planes just crossing and you can see if we're up on this plane we'll be looking down at this plane and we'll see some fields behind but you know which fields which fields will we be looking at let's, uh, let's look at the video again so this is right at the start of the video and there's some fairly distinctive things here uh, if we just play through the first few seconds of the video, we see it kind of zip over this, this region here. And it looks like a, a field, or it's actually, I think, a reservoir. And it's divided into two halves. And you see uh, a fairly distinctive shape. And then there's some circular irrigation fields behind it over there. So that's like a very handy thing we can use to actually kind of geolocate exactly what we're looking at. And it turns out that is right there. That is this uh, set of this little reservoir here. And these fields over here are these fields right here. And we can, uh, you know, if you want to, you can go in and see exactly what lines up with everything. But the fun thing we can do here is if we go back to where the United flight is. And then we lined up the two flight tracks like this, you see here. So they're both lined up. You see the ground track, which is, you know, where if you think of the two tracks being lined up, any line drew, drawn from one to the other will show you where you're looking at on the ground. It goes straight over this reservoir in exactly the same way as uh, this little tic-tac <laughs> apparent thing actually does. So uh, that's that's essentially it, really. It's it was a it was fun because when as, as soon as I found this little lake, it was it was obvious because you, know, you can tell that it lines up with the two tracks. You know, this going straight down there, and it's fairly obvious from just looking at the plane and looking at other planes. This is what planes look like when they're in low resolution. So there you go, UFO video solved. It was in fact Delta Airlines two four seven four. Uh, flying in the opposite direction and just looking like a tic-tac.